Good morning. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18, we see this phrase, the things which are not seen. In our Christian pilgrimage, it is well, for the most part, to be looking forward. Forward lies the crown, and onward is the goal. Whether it be for hope, for joy, for consolation, or for the inspiring of our love, the future must, after all, be the grand object of the eye of faith. Looking into the future, we see sin cast out, the body of sin and death destroyed, the soul made perfect, and fit to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. Looking further yet, the believer's enlightened eye can see death's river past, the gloomy stream forded, and the hills of light attained on which standeth the celestial city. He seeth himself enter within the pearly gates, hailed as more than conqueror, crowned by the hand of Christ, embraced in the arms of Jesus, glorified with him, and made to sit together with him on his throne, even as he has overcome and has sat down with the Father on his throne. The thought of this future may well relieve the darkness of the past and the gloom of the present. The joys of heaven will surely compensate for the sorrows of earth. Hush, hush, my doubts. Death is but a narrow stream, and thou shalt soon have forded it. Time, how short. Eternity, how long. Death, how brief. Immortality, how endless. Methinks I even now eat of Eshcol's clusters, and sip of the well which is within the gate. The road is so, so short. I shall soon be there. When the world my heart is rending with its heaviest storm of care, my glad thoughts to heaven ascending find a refuge from despair. Faith's bright vision shall sustain me till life's pilgrimage is past. Fears may vex and troubles pain me. I shall reach my home at last.